watch this Pop off and pop shit Dog, I see everything So come and try to stop this Take your best shot At the head or at the heart See, I control everything I'm ready for the dump Let it spark Yo, yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Hip Hop Gamer. Now, I saw a lot of the comments, you know what I'm saying, from the fans saying that the, like, the sound keep coming out of one side and all this other stuff. I'm trying to do the best that I can. So you see me bringing the mic out, even though I'm at the crib. But I'm not by myself. As you can see, this is my PlayStation 4. This is my Xbox One. This is my PlayStation 3. This is my Xbox 360. This is my Wii U. And this is my Retron 5, all right? Down here, I got a classic Xbox. And I just got a whole bunch of games because I'm a real gamer. That's what gamers do. You know what I'm saying? So first off, you see the title. You already know what it is, man. One love and God bless. Let's get it started. 2K Sports. Now, y'all already know the um uh the interview that I did with Rex regarding Madden and how you know that blew up from e um E3 when we was talking about how EA versus 2K and um EA lied actually. EA lied about making a scene. Like the license was open for anyone to just, you know, buy it or invest in it so they could get it. That was actually a lie. So Rex, you my man, man. I love you. I love your energy. You my dude. But I think you got caught up in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously the license is, is still there. But here's what I want to talk to you guys about, man. And this is actually a five to ten year plan of 2K Sports attempt to really destroy EA Sports and I know destroy is a strong word because actually from a development standpoint from what I know they actually you know got respect for one another or they cool one another but at the same time it's competition it's, it's just like me and you we could be friends and bugging out but if we playing Street Fighter for two thousand dollars you're not my friend at that moment I'm trying to bust that ass Period. And you guys should be thinking the same way. You know what I'm saying? You girls should be thinking the same way. Whipping that ass when it's time to whip that ass. All right? So let's talk about this potential 5 to 10 year plan of an ass whipping that could take place if certain things fall in line. Okay? So let's break it down. First thing is this. We now have NBA 2K15. Right? We on the brink of it. It's about to come out. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said before, live is a no-show. And um, it's still supposed to come out this year. But I want you guys to think about something. I'm going to talk to you guys from a strong business standpoint and a strong behind-the-scenes standpoint. You know what I'm saying? From the outside looking in, I used to be that dude. You know what I'm saying? I used to be the dude from the outside looking in, sitting at home watching E3, all the other stuff growing up. Now that I'm in the industry and I see what really goes on, y'all don't have to listen to me. I'm telling you. I know some of my claims may sound outrageous, whatever, but if you knew the things that I knew and understand how things change and this and that, this and that, you will not, a lot of things appear to be more realistic to you. You know what I'm saying? So pay attention. Check it out. So with um, NBA 2K15, uh, they, sh they sh already showed it off. You know what I'm saying? They showed a the gameplay. Uh, it was at Gamescom. People got their hands on it. Joint looked crazy as always, as you would expect. It's ready, getting ready to go. Commercials, everything is in the workings. In uh, events everything is happening the promotion the game comes out in october okay now if you look at nba live e3 one of the biggest stages ever wasn't there period then you got gamescom which is basically the e3 for overseas you know what i'm saying it's not there and stuff like that or who knows maybe it could be there i was told that it wasn't there but maybe it could be there and certain people that i know that's out there didn't see it so they said that but in reality is, I haven't seen no new screenshots, gameplay footage, or anything from Live uh, 15, you know what I'm saying, coming out of Gamescom or E3, and it's August, the budget, like, you got to understand what's going on here. You see what I'm saying? This It's a no-show. Now, with what 2K is doing to start the process of how they want to destroy EA comes from data. It comes from sales data. It comes from consumer usage. You know what I'm saying? Online play. Like, all of that. There's a big... Because in companies nowadays, that's how they um, operate. They sell data. You know what I'm saying? They The followers that they um, gather, there's companies that need those followers. So they gather the data and create a business plan to sell the data. You see what I'm saying? This is real, y'all. 
It's your boy hip hop game. I'ma only give it to you that way. So pay attention. So that's the um. So that's the first thing in terms of live fifteen being no show and the birth of NBA Street and all this other stuff. Things change all the time. You see what I'm saying? So now that that's clear, NBA 2K15 is going. They they killing the NBA. They took it over. NBA is 2K. Period. Now you got WWE 2K. Right now, there's no other wrestling games out there. You know what I'm saying? So, and obviously, 2K Sports was the ideal candidate to take WWE to the next level. Now, when you look at WWE now, it is the biggest, most, like, it's the biggest change we've ever seen in WWE across a generation. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you look at, um, you know, like SmackDown, when SmackDown first came out, do you have SmackDown, here comes the plan, here comes the pain, SmackDown, know your role, you know, you had SmackDown, this, SmackDown, that, so we went from the Nintendo 64 wrestling games, like WrestleMania 2000 and No Mercy, all the way up to the SmackDown, all the way up to WWE this, and roughly, for the most part, a lot of these games from each generation played the same, you know, aside from the WrestleMania 2000, you know, the 64 titles, but when you look at the SmackDown brand that turned into WWE and all this other stuff, that played roughly the same throughout the generations. This is the first time ever that WWE wrestling is truly like a simulation. Like, truly like a simulation. The characters look exceptional. like, And they all look like them. You know what I'm saying? It's not like one character model shared across the entire game. Just modified. Every character looks like them acts like them, walks like them, mannerism, even the gameplay mechanics is more simulation style where it's like a rock, scissor, um, paper, grapple type of move. It, yo, it'll blow your mind. It was done in a real ring, dog. Like the real motion capture, everything was done in a real ring. It looked phenomenal. You see what I'm saying? So the point I'm trying to tell you is that when 2K gets involved, things change. And when these changes happen that the fans been wanting, the results come in. There's a different type of brand loyalty to 2K games and not just the sports, 2K games overall. You see what I'm saying? Shout out to my man Pete Bush because he provides the face wear technology that makes games look this good. You see what I'm saying? So that's the second thing with WWE. So that's NBA and that's WWE that basically 2K sports has, you know, dominated. Now, I want to bring up um, uh, boxing. Now, when it comes to boxing, right, they attempted boxing like many, 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 many years ago. And when they attempted boxing, it was Don King's boxing, and it wasn't good. The gameplay wasn't that good. Everything wasn't that great. But over time, developers' talents get better. You learn more things about your craft. And if you look at then and you look at now, this development team over at 2K, I mean... They're legendary, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing you can take away from the incredible talent of 2K games, 2K sports. These people, like, are geniuses in their own right, and it shows. So now back to boxing. I had a conversation with EA talking about boxing. When are we going to see another fight night? Because that's a game that they actually do very well. EA handles boxing extremely well. They are great at making boxing games. You see what I'm saying? But here's the deal. With EA, I asked them, you know, have you guys ever thought about bringing Floyd Mayweather, you know, into the mix, you know, of your Fight Night series? And will we ever see a Fight Night game again from you guys? Like, what's up? With, what, what, it's on hiatus. What's going on? So they, the first thing they told me was that it's not uh, – boxing isn't as popular anymore. You know what I'm saying? Hence the reason why they put a lot of energy back into the UFC game. But we're going to get to that later. But the thing is, for them to actually um, say that boxing wasn't, you know, a popular sport like that, that means their focus isn't on it. You know what I'm saying? Because I guess they don't see the benefit financially in terms of return. So that's the first thing coming from EA. Then the second thing I asked them about was, you know, what? well, what if you – uh you know, got Mayweather involved with the fight night. Since Mayweather is boxing, maybe that'll bring some sales and stuff like that. And he said, well, you know what? Mayweather, like, he wants too much money. So that means that they already thought about it and probably went through a process and came to the realization that it may not be a good idea to 
invest in boxing games, at least not now. So that's coming from EA. Now, I spoke to 2K, and I was like, hey, look, man, I remember when you guys made that boxing game, but with the team you got and, you know, the experience you guys got and how well you increased as a development team and the eco motion, everything you're doing, if you guys did a boxing game now, it'd be crazy, and it's a void that needs to be filled. Like, you'll be surprised. There's a lot of people that still love boxing. You like, they, I mean, seriously, you could really do a lot more. You got 50 Cent as a promoter now. You know, you could utilize their whole, there's so many angles you could use in the game to make it exciting for what you see in real life. So when I spoke to them about, um, you know, Mayweather, because you know he's going to retire soon, they said that they would love to do um, a boxing game with Mayweather, but they said they was they will label it as Mayweather boxing. Now the thing is, that's what I believe w what the deal was. I don't think EA wanted to do a boxing game labeled as Floyd Mayweather boxing. I think they just wanted to keep it as Fight Night and just have Mayweather feature in the game as a regular character. Now this goes back to the Michael Jordan days where you could never get Michael Jordan in the game. You know what I'm saying? You play certain games back in the day and Michael Jordan wasn't there. It was number 99 or something that's supposed to be Jordan, but it was never the real Jordan. And then 2K comes out, puts Michael Jordan on the front cover and all this other stuff, got the classic. They managed to make it happen while still calling the, calling the um, game NBA. You know what I'm saying? So that was, you know, a great deal to make that happen. But here's the thing. In terms of Mayweather, and this is a this could be a new IP, we may very well see 2K Sports presents May, Floyd Mayweather boxing. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is this, if they do that, that's a that's a void that will be filled on the highest level of sport sport game development. That's 3. WWE boxing and um nba right now let's move on to baseball now already right now there's a um there's a a job listing uh i think they took it down because they made a mistake and they leaked this but they are looking for some people with experience in the in a in in baseball period because what they're doing right now is creating a baseball game they're coming back to baseball and i'm gonna tell you something i love what sony is doing with MLB the show is great, but I'm gonna tell you something. Consistency is is one thing, competition is another. And when a company is so used to not having competition, they get used to not really being lazy, but they get used to not pushing themselves as far as they can simply because the competitive element doesn't exist. 2K is coming back. This is 2K sports we're talking about. The most authentic brand of sports and gaming business period i love 2k dog so my thing is just what i want to explain to you guys is sony possibly could be in trouble of losing their throne losing their crown in the baseball field on the baseball field because 2k is coming and with what they have and what they learn and what i was told by my man pete bush in terms of what the next wave of games and technology is going to be like with facewear and more. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. So that's WWE, that's NBA, that's boxing, and that's baseball. You see what I'm saying? Now, the next thing I want to tackle is this UFC, the whole MMA thing and stuff like that. Now, with UFC and stuff, EA has a deal with UFC. You know what I'm saying? But it's like the it's the only, you know, uh mixed martial arts game on the market and stuff like that. Now here's the thing that's interesting, you know, had a conversation with 2K as well. And I asked them, what are you what is your goal in terms of sports gaming? Like, what do you want to do? What's your goal? In the next five to ten years, what is your goal for 2K sports when it comes to all of sports in gaming? And they said they want to be able to dominate sports not just sports gaming but they want to be the authentic representation of all sports in video games meaning that all the sports that we see in terms of you know fifa uh uh you know baseball basketball boxing mixed martial arts, everything that involves sports 
that can be done on a yearly release and stuff like that. You know, things that make sense to them. They're not going to invest in, I guess, the Olympics and stuff like that. You know, but things that make sense to them over a five and ten year plan, they want to be able to have a game, grow their studio, and be dominant in every facet of sports through sports gaming. That is like a goal of theirs. You know what I'm saying? And they are on the right path. And I just want to ask you guys, what do you think of this ambitious approach to basically dominate, you know, all the sports that make sense for 2K to get involved in? And what will happen to EA Sports once the NFL license is actually up, once 2K can actually do an NFL game, when 2K brings new games like boxing, when 2K decides to do soccer, like when 2K really decides as they grow to really cover sports as an overall landscape of gaming and represent the most authentic spaces in gaming over a five to 10 year plan, what happens to EA? What happens to anyone that's trying to make a sports game with 2K Sports? How do you compete against a 2K? I would love to know your um answer to that. You know what I'm saying? So one love, God bless is your boy, Hip Hop Gamer. And 2K Sports is not playing. They come in to take the title in every form of sports over the next five to ten years. So don't be surprised at new game announcements every two to three years about a new field that they're trying to take over. And I will say this. NBA is actually outselling Madden. So when it comes to the biggest sports titles, period, on the market, 2K holds the crown. So from a business standpoint, it makes sense as an investment for anyone. That's one. Two, the NFL PA is paying attention. Three, 2K is in a powerful position with the right people to make this change. Stay tuned. Let me know what you think. It's your boy, Hip Hop Gamer. Let's go, dog.